In this video, we are going to have a look at the proof and an example of how we use the area rule in trigonometry. Okay, if we would like to know the area of a triangle, in this case we have triangle ABC, and we would like to know the area of triangle ABC. Now, we know that the area of a triangle, the formula to calculate it, is a half times by the base, times by the perpendicular height. Okay, so here the perpendicular height is given by line AD. If we label the sides of the triangles based on the vertices that lie opposite the side, so the side opposite vertex A, we label with a little a, the side opposite vertex B, we label with a little b, and the side opposite vertex C, we label with a little c. Okay, so if we wanted to find the area of this triangle, it would be a half multiplied by a multiplied by h. But we want to have a look and see what happens in a triangle if I don't know the perpendicular height, if they haven't given the perpendicular height. Am I still able to find the area of a triangle? So if we just work in one of the smaller right angle triangles, so if we work in triangle ABD, for instance, if we use our reference angle as angle B. We know from our study of trigonometry in grade 10 that we can define the three trig ratios in reference to angle B. So if we want to define the sine of angle B, sine is the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse, so that will give us H. H is the side that is opposite angle B, and the hypotenuse is C. If we want to solve this for H, we multiply both sides by C, and we get our H to be C sine B. So what we are saying is that in, in any triangle ABC, the perpendicular height can be given by C sine B. If we now substitute that into our area formula, we now have our area as half of A times by C sine B. And this area rule means that we don't actually need to know the height of the triangle because the C sine B actually tells us, will give us, calculate the height of the triangle. Now, obviously, we could have used a different, we could have drawn our perpendicular height relative to a different base, and we could have chosen a different reference angle from angle B. So we can say similarly, in other words, if we had chosen to use different parts of the triangle to do the proof, we could have gotten the area to be a half a b sine of c because if you look at the pattern little a little c sine of the big angle so little a little b will be sine of the big angle c and we can say that a is equal to a half of um b c sine of a okay and that is the area rule all right let's take a look at how we apply this in an example I'd like for you to pause the video and to try this on your own and then to check your answer when you are finished. Right, calculate the area of triangle PQR. So let's start off by just drawing ourselves a sketch of this triangle so we can see what we're looking for. Triangle PQR. Angle Q is equal to 30 degrees. Little r, so that is the side opposite angle r, which will be that side there will be 10. And P, which is the side opposite angle P, is 7. So, if we would like to find the area of this triangle, it will be a half. We have been given little r and little p, so it will be a half of pr and sine of q. That gives us a half of 10 times 7 times the sine of 30 degrees. And if we use our calculator to calculate that value, we get 17 and a half. And because it's area, it will be in square units. Okay, and one final note about the area rule is you need to be given, in order to find the area, you must be given two sides and the included angle. Okay, it must be the angle that is included by the two given sides, like Q is here, it lies in between the two sides that were given.